I'm Amy Martin and I'm with Four Color Print Group and I'm here to present this week's book of the week. The book that we have chosen this week was published by the University of Oklahoma Press. It's called Prince Maximilian's Journals. And what's great about this book is it actually is the third of a three book series. There were two books that we did through the years and this year we printed the third book and it came in both a regular edition and a special edition and it was inserted into this beautiful um, custom-made individual mailing box where we printed uh, the spine and we printed the front and both the regular edition and the special edition were inserted into these mailers the client provided us with the file and then we printed it on the box itself and custom made the boxes. And inside the box, this is the, actually the regular edition. The regular edition book was done in a beautiful bonded leather. It has a four color tip on and a large area of foil stamping on the front of the case as well as the, the spine of the case. And you can see this is the third in the uh, three uh, volume series. And inside, it was actually printed on an uncoated cream color stock. A lot of people say that you shouldn't print on four color on uncoated stocks. But if you choose the right stock, one with a nice smooth finish on it, it will print beautifully. Here is some of the four color printing on the cream colored stock. There is a lot of, there are certain things that print very well on uncoated stock, particularly art of this type like paintings and things like that. I, I don't really like to print photography on uncoated stocks just because um, they don't reproduce very well on uncoated, but you can see this just reproduced beautifully on the uncoated stock. And all three books were printed on the same stock. They all had the same specifications. So when we finished book three, it was a very nice, beautiful set. And so this is the regular edition, as I said. And this is the special edition. We did a slipcase in a beautiful burgundy colored cloth. And then the book, it uses the same bonded leather that the regular edition does. It just doesn't have the tip in, or the tip on. It has just foil stamping on the front. But other than that, the two books are the same. So once the third book was printed, the first and second books didn't have this. But once the third book was printed, the client wanted all of the text, all of the book, all three books, put on a DVD. And so they didn't really want to do a conventional um, type of application for applying the DVD to the book. Um, let me just show you some various ways you can do that. You can either have an envelope that is a window envelope where the DVD or CD gets inserted down in there and then it affixes to the back of, of a cover or case. The only problem with that is once that's ripped then you can see it's, it's put on this way to keep people from tampering and getting in there but once it's ripped then it doesn't look so nice after, um, after you take the DVD out of it. And here's another way of doing this. This is called a, a tamper-resistant PVC sleeve. The DVD or CD goes inside of that, and then it's sealed. And then the, once that seal is broken, you know, then you can get the DVD out. And that looks a little more attractive. It does have its own pitfalls, though, because it can make an indentation. It hasn't here, but it can make an indentation over in the end sheets. And then another way of doing inserting a DVD is to do a pocket. This one isn't a DVD but it, you can see it's a map that goes in and you can also do a smaller size and just have your DVD or CD inserted down into the pocket which is kind of cool too because in this case we printed that to match the end sheets. So, but in the case of that 
of this book, the Prince Maximilian's book, none of those really seemed appropriate. It's such a gorgeous book and we wanted something a little bit more upscale. And so we did this really cool... Um, we actually cut... You have to do thicker cases to do this, but we actually cut a die cut into the case and it has this plastic piece that's actually holding the DVD in place inside the case. So it just looks so nice to insert the DVD in there. You can see you just pop it out and it's glued, this piece is glued to the case and then the end sheet is die cut around it. So this piece is all the end sheet. And then that just pops, pops back in there. Thank you for watching this week's Book of the Week. And if you would like us to quote a project for you, please call us at Four Color Print Group. And thank you.